still you still stay in touch with them? And, uh, uh, sure. No, I don't have a. It's just all a repetition for me. You know, just coming in and get my work in. Uh, we have so many great coaches here that put us through workouts. So, you know, it's all about repetition and uh, camaraderie with our team. Thanks. LeBron, you're sitting there last night watching the Eastern Conference game, and you see both Dang and Damari get hurt. Either guy would guard you the next round. Do you, what, do you, what goes through your mind? I didn't watch it. But I guess nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch the game. Uh, uh, my kids wanted to watch a movie yesterday, so that's what I was, they ruled the household. So, yeah, but it's uh, it's unfortunate anybody that's injured right now. It doesn't matter who's guarding me. Um, I didn't see what happened, but uh, there's been a few injuries in that series, unfortunately. Uh, but you know, that's obviously something I can't control, so I don't really worry about too much. Hey, LeBron, all season long, you've had you guys went through a coaching change, the cryptic tweets. All, there's all these stories, and now. There's really no story around around this team, you know, as you guys sit and wait. Is that a good thing for you? And what do you think about that? Uh, I don't really get involved in that. I mean, everything is good for me. Wake up every day with a, with a blessing, healthy family. You know, I come here to see these guys every single day, so it's been great. But is it nice not having that pressure of all the the media talking about what pressure? You know what's going on with with the big three, like getting along, all that kind of stuff. I don't get involved. In you are asking the wrong guy. Um, what about, um, let me rephrase this, do you consider uh, your, whenever Damari guards you, do you consider those to be tough matchups? Is he one of the guys that, you know, that, that you have to grind a little bit when you play? I think, uh, I mean, I, in postseason you got to grind, period. There's no easy uh, matchup in postseason, no matter who's guarding you. It's never a one-on-one -on -one matchup. That's why it's four other guys out on their team that help us as well and communicate throughout it. I'm never guarding nobody one on one. I got guys behind me that communicate the system and things of that nature. So, um, like I said, I don't, I don't never get really involved in some one on one matchups. I'm not, I'm not a one on one guy. I've always been on my team. Well, the important trouble is that the season was ended yesterday. Can you talk about you know, there was no expectation for that team coming in? And from the outside looking in, um, I think. Uh, Terry Stotts uh, should have been or could have been coach of the year. I mean, I don't, I can't remember the last time that I've seen a team lose four starters and still be in the same position as far as postseason and success they had. I mean, they lost Batum, they lost Matthews, they lost Robin, and they lost Lamarcus in the offseason. And the only return to starter was Dane. And, um, you know, Dame is, a, is an all-star. Even though he wasn't on the team, he's an all-star. CJ, obviously, is a stud being from here in the Canton area. Of course, he's a stud. Uh, but I thought Terry Stotts did a great job, so uh, they have nothing to do. They had a great season. How about consecutive trips to the finals? Teams, the way you coach, they have Dame in general, and Terry Stotts in general, all your training, all your diet, all your Changed how I prepared my body throughout a long season. Um, you know, I, it's not like I come into the season saying, okay, I'm going to play in the June. I don't have that sense of retirement. Um, but I do prepare myself for the long haul and saying, if I'm fortunate enough to be a part of it, then uh, you know, I need to, you know, it's more of a marathon and not a sprint for me. You know, and, uh, I've, I've uh, played a lot of basketball over the last few years and I've been fortunate to play uh, you know, at the highest level for, for a long time now. So. And my body, I have to listen to my body, and my body has done well for me. You, you mentioned your diet a few times when we talked to you. What, what is a typical uh, daily food intake for you? What do you eat? Can't tell you. <laughs> can't tell you, I'm going to have to kill you. So, <laughs> 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 Ron, how important is the uh, advances in the last decade in kind of nutrition and uh, you know, uh, medical tech in, in maintaining your body? The way it is. Uh, well, I think with the with the science and the research and uh, uh, the, the, the the ability to have multiple uh, you know trainers and things of that nature, and also guys taking in the individual account of their own bodies, get, guys are able to play um, into their late 30s and some into their 40s, as you're seeing today. You got like Andre Miller, you got you got Timmy D, uh, who's playing into their 40s. Guys are. You know, and I played with Ray Allen late in his 30s and things of that nature. Guys are playing into their late 30s because of the technology and also 
um, you know, if guys are taking care of their body and understanding, yeah, we can play beyond what the, the expectancy is uh, of our sport. So uh, uh, I think it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. And guys, you know, we got guys that's 36 on our team, and you know, you look at RJs and you know, as in better shape as anybody on the team. You know, you got James Jones as well. So um, you know, it's great to be around our guys like that. How long do you think that you have you thought about how long you're going to play? No, no, I think uh, you know, later on in my thirties it's kinda of up to my kids really. You know, I miss so much of my, my kids' tournaments and things of that nature while I'm playing and uh, so it's kinda of up to them, you know. Um, they'll let me know when they tired of seeing me go away. Is yoga part of it? That's what extended Kareem's career, that's what he Credited That's, anyway. Maybe it's part of it. Maybe, maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron, what is the anxiousness of this team? Is you guys just kind of wait and see? Is there any guys, you know, anxious to get back on the floor again? You know, we just take it every day as it's last. You know, when that opportunity presents itself, we know we're playing either Sunday or Tuesday. You know, we're not going to, you know, we haven't shortcut no days this week. We've had one day off. Uh, that was the game after we won game four. Um, and we put in a lot of work so far. So, you know, um, you know, if the series ends on Friday, we'll be ready to go on Sunday. We we'll prepare Saturday night. If it doesn't, then we're going to continue to prepare our bodies, but not get back locked in until we know who we plan. But yeah, we're not anxious at all. We're just, we're just waiting around and putting in our work. Hey, you spoke about your, I guess, admiration for Bill Russell before. Did you ever get a chance to talk to him about making extended No. First round, second round, that big layoff, Ty ran you guys pretty hard once or twice. Maybe you're going to have to do it again. What? No, we've already done it. <laughs> I just want to know. Yeah, I mean, how? We, we did something today that was pretty, pretty intense. What? I mean, what, what, what is the running regimen? Uh, it's an in house thing, but I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> so, LeBron, when it comes to the playoffs versus the regular season, when it practices, shoot arounds, how different are those than, than what you go through in the regular season? Well, I mean, uh, you know, the regular season, you, you condense an 82 games into six and a half months. Um, you know, in the postseason, you, you face one team, if you're lucky, you know, for seven games, or if you're very lucky, four games, or whatever the case may be, and you get to lock in on just that matchup. You know, in our regular season, you can have three and four nights in three cities, four cities, and you have to be able just to, you know, lock in for a little bit, but then let it go because you got to be worried about the next game. You have to worry about a different matchup. So, you know, it's very difficult. It's like studying for a test. You know, you take that test the next day, and then the teacher right after the test say, "Okay, you need to study for another one tomorrow," and then okay, study for another one because we have another one in the following day. You know, so it's uh, you know that it puts a lot of stress on you in the regular season, but in the postseason. You know, you get to study for one test for a week and a half, two weeks. You know, so you're able just to lock in on what needs to be done. So it helps a lot. You is won't tell us what. Say, Go ahead, Chris. Is it fair to say that in the postseason it's more X's and O's related than when it comes to practices? No, I wouldn't say. It's a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of everything. At the end of the day, it's uh, coaches staff will give you X's and O's, but you got to go out and get it too. You won't say what you eat, but will you, do you have something you splurge on the day after the season? Uh. <laughs> I like sweets, more like dessert stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I gotta try to stay away from it, but it's hard when you got 11 year old, eight year old, and two year old running around, <laughs> you know, because that's all they do all day long. So you know, I gotta try to stay away from them, which is impossible. <laughs> okay, right. thank you guys. Thank you.